Uh, we have very aggressive pricing in this building for the location. Uh, you can get into a one bedroom here, 824 square feet for 274.9. Okay. And then we've got our two bedrooms start at 439.9. That's a lower floor two bedroom, 1460 square feet. We're actually in a higher floor. Okay. Um, the floor plan that you'll see here actually measures at uh, 1350 square feet, but it's an all corner unit. Nine and a half foot ceilings, uh, floor to ceiling glass. As you can see um, from the kitchen, I mean, our standard finishes are our granite stainless steel appliances, nice espresso uh, cabinets, hardwood floors in the living rooms in the main area. Um, you got a nice big living room, dining room area here, which is obviously big enough to have plenty of furniture with your flat screen and then also a dining room area, which people really enjoy. The one thing that's nice that you'll find about this unit too is, is the hallways are very wide. Yeah. Um, it gives you more the feel of a home rather than the feel of a condo or an apartment. So you can um, walk to abreast. Yeah, the, the high, exactly. The high ceilings and the wide floor and the wide hallways really help with that. This is your second bedroom. You'll okay. see from the amount of furniture that this owner put in here that there's a lot of space. I mean, he has a queen size bed with a footboard and a headboard. Yeah. He's got two nightstands and then a six drawer credenza. Okay. Um, still plenty of floor space. Um, we set this up as an office, which was very, very large for an office or a viewing room like with your TV. Sure. Um, but this works very well for him. Um, what's nice too about this unit is you, you've got a nice laundry closet. Um, okay. I don't know how clean this is, but so basically, you know, what this this owner decided to do is he did uh, side by side. Right. Um, a lot of people will do stackable. Right. Um, okay. He's probably going to add some cabinets in here, so it's it, it's nice extra space to be able to have. Sure. Um, you know, kind of a laundry room rather than just a small little closet where you have to cram in a washer and dryer. Okay. So um, all fourteen of these units will come with they'll come with hookups, but not the actual. Correct. Machine? Correct. Okay. Good. And then right behind you is the second bathroom. All right. Um, so you've got a tub and a shower in there? Yeah, this is a shower with a ceramic tub. Okay. Uh, we have white ceramic tiles and then a nice granite countertop. Uh, this one's obviously been painted, but you can see that, uh, you know, it's perfect for your second bathroom. Nice. All right. And uh, take a quick look at Here's the your master. master. And again, th this is a huge master bedroom. Now, it might not look that way because of the amount of furniture he has in, and I think that's what's important to look at. You're looking at a 14 by 12 master bedroom. He's got a king size bed, two nightstands, yeah. a huge executive desk, a gargantuan credenza, and an armoire that you're standing in front of. So that's true. This is plus there's this is large furniture. right, and then there's there's also still just a ton of floor space. So you know, really from a master bedroom standpoint, it, it, it serves for exactly what you need. Right, and. Um, this little area back here, is, is that... Uh, that goes around to your walk-in closet. Okay. Um, there's some stuff stored in there, so you probably don't want to go in. Okay, yeah. I don't want to return guys to the show. But yeah, it's very, very large. I mean, it's, it, it walks through its the length of the room, so you have plenty of space. Okay, great. And then the other nice thing about this, too, is you have a, just a, an enormous master bath. Right. All done in marble. Nice big soaking tub. Um, you know, double bowl sink. And then, I mean, we just... You know, again, we put some storage and he's got a bench there for when he's getting ready and oh, some nice. extra storage space. So, okay. again, a lot of space in the master bath. All right, we're down on the, um, the common area now. Um, which floor are we on? This is the ninth floor. Ninth floor, okay. And um, it's a pretty big space. Um, you said it has Wi-Fi access. Right. Um, what, what are the basic uses of this room? Well, there's a couple different uses. A lot of people actually like to come down here and study. That's why they decided to do Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, we have a, a lot of doctors and a lot of parents who have purchased units for their children that go to school down here. So you'll see some people down here studying at night. Um, and then the, also one of the big draws here is the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um, okay. You're sitting right on State Street, so you have a bird's eye view of, um, of, the, uh, of the parade. Right. And, and basically, anytime you want to have a party or a get together, you could rent the space out. Very, okay. very minimal fee that's basically just going to take care of the cleaning. Okay. So you'll see that this is a very kind of an industrial space. This is our transitional floor. This is where we transition from the commercial space to the residential. So it's a structural floor. So we've got these structural beams that we left to kind of give it kind of that uh, kind of lofty industrial look because we have 20 foot ceilings in here. This is probably one of the largest exercise rooms I've seen in a condo building. It's just over 3,000 square feet. It's very open. It's very bright. There's a lot of equipment. Wow, awesome. Um, what's nice, too, is that you're, you know, you're on the corner. So again, you know, you've got a view. You're not just looking into nothing. Um, so yeah. 
You don't have to look at your own reflection. While exactly. They, you know, they put some tinting on the glass, so it's harder for people to see in, whereas you can still see out. Yeah. Uh, but you know, they got treadmills, ellipticals. They've got some nice machines, some free weights. You know, they put in the stretching balls. So they've done a really nice job of of, of um, you know equipping the faci the facility. Right. But you don't have to be right on top of each other while you. Run on the train. Exactly. You know, the other thing that's nice too is if you know if you're a workout freak, David Barton Gym is going across the street in Block 37. Okay. Um, so you'll have a gym essentially right across the street from you. But you know, to get you by in the days like today where it's snowing and cold, you know, that serves its purpose for you to come out and get your workout in. All right. Um, and Block Block 37 is one of the bigger draws if you're thinking about moving to the area. Yeah. You know, Block 37 has been up and down, but you know they finally got some good. Um, concrete tenants. Mm -hmm. um, David Barton Gym is going in there. A company called Movie Co is going in. That's going to be a restaurant uh, theater concept mm -hmm. where you can go and, and ha have dinner and watch a movie. Nice. Um, the, the clothier the Zara is going in there. Puma actually just signed to have their flagship store there. So they're finally getting in wow. some good high quality tenants. Um, there's been some talk about Whole Foods wanting to go and trying to get in there. Cool. And uh, so you should hopefully have a grocer in here within the next couple of years as well. Okay. And um, we're also um, located right in the theater district. I'm, I'm sure you get a lot of buyers who are. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Right by the theater. Absolutely. I mean, homes. you know, the drawdown here is, is uh, y y you know, it really lends itself to a lot of people. Yeah. We have several lawyers, um, you know, and we have a lot of doctors who purchase here. Um, we have a lot of people who purchase here for second homes, um, right. for in towns. Mm -hmm. And then again, like I said, we, we do have some people who purchase for their children who are going to school here. So, right. um, you know, Block 37 draws, the theater district draws huge down here. Mm -hmm. um, we have people who purchase this and uh, just use it for to, to come down and go to the theater as well. All right. Well, thanks very much, Jason. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by.